Anyone. That's the answer. Anyone who is in need is my neighbor, is your neighbor. Therefore, on this Sunday morning, look around you. Welcome to the neighborhood. Look around you and welcome to the neighborhood. Welcome to the neighborhood and number one, stop ignoring people in pain. Let's cry out to this world today, stop ignoring people in pain. You might say, Father Val, that's pretty strong language. It is. But what I mean by that, the traveler in today's gospel reading, he was attacked. He was injured. He was left in pain. Basically, he was laying by the road half dead. We, in today's world, we are surrounded, we are surrounded by great pain. Everywhere we look, in our society, Everywhere we look, in our families, in our schools, people young and old, they are those who are plagued with pain. That's the current status of our neighborhood, of our world today. Some are struck with illnesses, injuries, that place them in that category of physical pain. Others out there in this world and in our neighborhood here maybe are dealing with steep stigma and scars of emotional pain. And some because of the circumstances they are living in. They continue to live in darkness and despair of spiritual pain. Those are the conditions of pain we witness in today's neighborhood. Friends, we are, you and I, we are in the same neighborhood. And people like Mr. Rogers, people like Mother Teresa, people like Father Damien of Molokai, one of my heroes, he was the apostle to the lepers on that island. The ones we know that the good Lord has given us, they inspire us. They inspire you and inspire me to reach out to those in pain, to be that good Samaritan as we heard in today's gospel reading, to reach out to those in pain, whether the pain is visible or invisible. Number two, welcome to the neighborhood. And let us start getting involved. Especially this time of the year, which we call in the Byzantine Catholic Church, the Nativity Fest, or in the Christian West, Advent. That is why the church is vested in red the penitential color for this liturgical season. But let us start getting involved in our families, co-workers, in our schools. The word Advent means coming. We must be coming to them, approaching, getting involved in people's lives. Or do I just simply, like we heard in today's gospel reading, do I take that position of that Jewish priest and Levite? The priest who was to work for the welfare of the people, but simply ignore this man in need. Or do I take the position of that Levite in today's gospel reading and also walk by being indifferent? Today's Gospel reading, my friends, is one of my favorite ones because it serves as a model. 
It serves as a model for active compassion to follow. Reaching out to this hurting world, a world that is hurting in the Middle East, a world that is hurting in Eastern Europe, in Ukraine, but a world that is also hurting in Pittsburgh. Even this morning, how many crashes I saw on the news and people would have died. A world that is hurting, being called to go and make a difference. Pope Francis, in one of his homilies, he described the Good Samaritan in this way, and he challenged everyone in that chapel of Casa Santa Marta with the following words. Like the Good Samaritan, let us not be ashamed of touching the wounds of those who suffer, but try to heal them with concrete acts of love. Try to heal them. Number three, welcome to the neighborhood and show intensive caring. How do we show intensive caring? Again, the Good Samaritan. By showing sympathy. I once read, and I quote, pain was given, so we'll learn how to sympathize. The traveler in today's gospel reading, he was in pain. The Good Samaritan was there for him, going out of his way to sympathize. But the original meaning of sympathize, that is, the Good Samaritan had the capacity to share feelings. He had the capacity to understand human misery. He had the ability to enter into somebody's life. Let's sympathize during this Advent season, but not only during this Advent season, beyond in the years to come, because this world is hurting. In Germany, in the 18th century, there was a Protestant minister named Jean Frederic Oberlin. And once he was traveling, he was traveling by foot in winter when he was caught in a severe snowstorm. This minister, sadly, he lost his way in the blowing snow and he was afraid that he's gonna freeze to death. So in, in despair, he finally sat down not knowing which way to turn. But just then, a man came along in a wagon and he rescued this Protestant minister. He took him to the next village and made sure he would be cared for. As the man prepared to journey on, here Oberlin, the Protestant minister, said to him, please, sir, Tell me your name, so that I may at least have you in grateful remembrance before God. But here the man, he looked at him, and by now he knew he was a minister. He said, Reverend, you are a minister. Please tell me the name of the Good Samaritan. Here Oberlin looked at him and said, I'm sorry, I cannot do that, for it is not given in the scriptures. And here his benefactor, the man who rescued him, looked at him and said, Okay, until you can tell me his name, please permit me to withhold mine. My friends, Throughout the centuries, the history of mankind, we have witnessed good Samaritans in our midst. We continue to witness them all over the world. But on this Sunday, which is the first Sunday of this Nativity Fast, 
our Lord, he issued a strong challenge to us, to you and me, to those who continue to hear this story, this parable in our lives. Jesus continues to say to you and me, what? He says, brother, sister, go and do likewise. That's the challenge for our parish family during this Advent season. Go and do likewise. Those words are as valid today as they were 2,000 years ago. Especially during this Advent season, can we, together, can we embrace those who are in pain? Can we embrace those who are in pain and be truly that good Samaritan? And remember from that story, no names are needed. No names are needed because they will be written in heaven forever. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Christ.